Okay. This is what I've been working on this evening. My latest cannibalization. I've taken one of these voice changer things, uh, megaphones, which I bought in Maplin for four ninety nine. I bought two actually. This one's a gift for a small child. The other one has been uh, butchered um, and turned into something far more sinister. So I like to put it in this uh, sort of ironic beauty box. So basically I've torn the whole thing apart and uh, I've taken the, it was a microphone and a little uh, loudspeaker that was in there originally. I've replaced them with audio input and outputs. I'm just running a micro cord through it. So if I just demonstrate how the micro cord sounds dry normally. Oh, it's still pretty loud actually, isn't it? In fact, that's not even dry, just a sec. So. seen a micro call before you've heard what it can do but yeah so put through this box here a voice changer box to make it sound uh, fairly different here we go <laughs> Pretty horrible in fact it's got some sort of gain circuit on here that's making it quite a lot louder um, it had little uh, LEDs on the front that light up as well when you use it uh, which I've kept in might mount it on the front at some point or something but um yeah it had a little selection of five buttons here that I'm yet to mount properly but um, they do different things when they're in different positions That's sort of barely pitched horrible alien sound it might sound nice with a drum machine or something going through it Some of the um, more percussive arpeggiators through it sound lovely. It does have a slight problem in that there's some sort of noise gate as well built in which I can't switch off. Um, so it does tend to trigger a bit slowly. as far as I can tell is the correct pitch that it should be at so if you keep it on that one you just get that sort of horrible noisy gate
what I plan to do at some point fairly soon uh, is basically it was originally trigger operated and um, there's no way to I've taken the trigger out and just uh, closed the circuit but there's no way of uh, triggering it on and off so I might get some sort of foot switch um, to open and close the circuit and yeah like I said probably mount that on top because that will look quite nice when it looks lovely when it's going I don't show anything here um, they sort of blink depending on the sort of amount of input which is lovely yeah so uh, at some point um, I will put up a video of the finished product and uh, if anyone's interested in hearing more about how I made it, well, that was fairly self-explanatory. Oh uh, yeah, just drop me a message. Thank you.